Good morning, good morning, and welcome to a Lean Girl full day of eating to get and stay lean. But today we're doing it a little different because we are doing it convenience meal style, which means I have a goal that every single meal that I make today will not take me any longer than three minutes. So I'm gonna share some of my favorite like prep hacks and convenience foods that I always buy. Like when I'm short on time, wanna throw something together super quick. I know everyone is hustling and bustling and doesn't have time to spend a shit ton of time in the kitchen. So I'm gonna show you some really awesome recipes and meals that you can throw together in seconds. I will also put all of the calories and macros up on screen. I'm actually not sure what my daily total is gonna be because I haven't really planned the meals. Um, I'm gonna go as, as I go along, I will tally up all of the calories. I'll also tell you a little bit later on about where I'm currently at and what my goals are at the moment and what I've been working on. Um, and I'll also take you kind of along for my day. It is now 7 a.m. I do not actually eat before I go to gym. It's actually not optimal. You should have a little something with protein and carbs in, but I just don't like, just don't like training when I've just eaten something. So I'm gonna have some pre-workout. I'm gonna head to the gym. I will take my camera with, so I'll try my best to get a few clips of my session today. And then I will see you back here for our first meal, which will be a delicious, quick and easy breakfast. So, check you soon. Heading to the gym for one of my Lean Girl TNT workouts. These are quick 40 minute heavy weight training sessions. Starting off with a little stretch. Always remember to stretch and warm up before your workouts to make sure that you are warmed up, you prevent injury and also get the correct form so you've got the full range of motion. Today's workout was some freaking heavy split squats, some push-ups. It was a kind of full body session today and it really killed me in every way. Okay, dolls, the hardest part of the day is over. Gym is done. I was dying today. Cheese and rice. I hate split squats so much. Why are they so hard? But it's time for breakfast. And as I said, these meals are going to be super easy, like cheats. Cheats in that we're using like pre prepared pre prepared ingredients. So I'm going to make breakfast now. I no longer do intermittent fasting. Reason being, my goal at the moment is actually to build muscle and eating protein soon after your workout, because I work out in the morning, is certainly going to be optimal for building lean muscle. Now, when you're losing fat, that's your main goal. Intermittent fasting is a fantastic tool, um, but because I have more calories to play with, I'm not in a deficit at the moment. I'm sitting around maintenance, just above some days, most days probably, like 100 calories over maintenance. I'm really trying to optimize muscle gain. That is definitely my goal for the rest of the year, to try and build as much muscle as possible. I'm not the leanest I've ever been. And you know what? I'm freaking okay with that. For the first time in my life. Something has switched in my head. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm not like exploding into some mad bulk, but I'm gaining strength. Definitely have some more muscles that are popping out. And I'm just embracing the process. I think that is freaking key, okay? Whatever you're doing, if you fight it in your head, it makes it a shit ton unnecessarily harder. So if you want to build some muscle, you go all in, doll, and you're building muscle. And if your jeans are tight, you say, hell the hell, hell, what I'm trying not to sweat. Hell yes, my jeans are tight. Why? Because my goal is to build a big ass booty. Yes. Okay, enough chit chat. I'll tell you a little bit more detail on that later maybe, but let's head into the kitchen. I'm freaking starving. It's like nine. 30, I think. Let's hit brekkie. Yes. Okay, so let's start off with our quick 
bricky. I am starting off with two of these sachets of the steel cut whole grain oats from Woolworths. So I've just added some sweetener and some cinnamon to this and you basically just pop the sachet in the microwave and heat it up. I actually love the steel cut oats. I love the texture. It's got a really nice chewiness to it. And then I got this really cute heart shaped bowl from Woolworths. They actually have such a nice home section now. And then I'm gonna top it with some muesli. I got this daily fix on the go muesli which has got white chocolate chips in it, which is so yum. And then just adding a nice little dollop of peanut butter. And then I am going in with my protein shake. If you are trying to have volume meals, sometimes having a protein shake on the side and not mixing it into your oats actually makes you feel fuller for longer. So just whip those two up, two up and there is breakfast. Guess who's back? Back again. Angie is back to have some lunch. See, I always get excited around meal times, guys. I don't need the energy from the food. I've got the energy just thinking about the dang food. I've actually been working. I've been filming a whole lot of reels, some new recipes. I might show you a little sneak peek of what I made over there, over there, because that's where I film all my stuff, there by the light by the window. Guys, the rest of my house looks very dark. You can see all my setup there. Um, so I am very excited about some new recipes that I just did. And now it is almost one o'clock, so it is time for lunch. I must tell you that that oats that I had this morning, it was definitely more filling than my infant oats. So I think it's because it's steel cut, it has a lot more fiber in it. So the girl actually was kept pretty full. Now it's around one. I think I might actually set up what I'm gonna make for lunch here by the window and do it like recipe style to show you because it's nice and bright and beautiful here. My kitchen, unfortunately, she does not have a window. So the lighting is not on my side. So I think I'm gonna do it over here. I'm gonna show you all again, convenience foods, quick and easy. Let's throw it together. Here it goes with lunch. You really can just throw it together whatever you have available in your fridge. This is a great leftovers meal as well. So I'm using the sachets of cooked rice again from Woolworths. They have so many yummy variations that already have flavors. This is the brown and wild rice. And then I've added some baby spinach and some rosa tomatoes. And then I also really like this roast chicken that's already sliced from Woolworths and already flavored. And then just for some extra veggies. And this is so flavorsome as well. This is like a chickpea vegetable medley from Woolworths. And again, you can have all of this cold if you like. And it even had some yummy pumpkin, which you know is my absolute favorite. And then adding in a little bit of avocado for some healthy fat. And then to do a little dressing on the side, I've got Nola mayo, I've got the sweet chili sauce from Lifestyle Foods, a bit of sriracha, and then some vinegar to just loosen it up to make it a little bit runny so that we can drizzle it over our lovely little nourish bowl. And it really is that simple and easy. This, my girls, is the DMC position. It's when you're about to have a deep, meaningful conversation with your friend, you take your shoes off, you cross your legs, that's the DMC position and you lean in. So as I promised, I'm gonna do a little life update in this video as well. So we're all about the food. Also just checking in with you guys. I hope that you're all doing good. Flip, this load shedding is killer. Thankfully, we have a generator here at our apartment, but I swear every time it goes off or on, I'm like, I don't know how people are coping. I just feel so, sad for people that have businesses that are running that require power or if you're even working from home it's basically impossible to get all your shit done if you don't have power like even your laptop like it doesn't last for that long when we were in cape town now um, where we were staying actually didn't have a generator they just had a converter or ups and winter was tough like when it's cold and you want your heater on and you want something hot to drink, you feel it. So um, on a Cape Town note, you guys know that I've been looking for a property. I'm so sad though. So G and I, I 
I'm all over the place, people. Anyway, G and I have been looking for a place in Cape Town. We just love the lifestyle. We have so many friends there. Um, you guys know we just renovated this house. Um, I wish I could just pick it up and move it and plonk it into Cape Town because the property there is just crazy expensive. We just need to rent, not to buy or anything. I swear if you buy a place, that can get a shoebox for like 7 million Rand that is really old and like falling apart. So really hard, but we've managed to find a short term rental there from November to Feb. So I'm gonna be spending a lot of time in Cape Town, which I'm super excited about. And the weather is gonna be gorgeous as well. Um, so that's something I'm looking forward to. But you know what, I'm always happy wherever I am. I feel like you have to have that mindset. Like if you're in Joburg wishing you were in Cape Town or wherever you are in the world wishing that you were somewhere else, you'll always be miserable. So I love being in Joburg, I still have friends, family, love my life here, love my life in Cape Town. So I'm just trying to be more flexible, more fluid, and just trying to embrace whatever is. Like, I feel like that is one of life's biggest struggles, when you just always feel like you are looking to the future, where you are somewhere else that you are not currently. Um, I feel like that's a recipe for misery. They say that the only way to truly be happy is to want what you already have. Let that sink in. And that's why gratitude is such a great practice, right? Um, what did I want to chat to you girls about? Okay, so firstly, body check-in, where I'm currently at. I don't do this enough to kind of share where I'm at. The last video I did, I think I was talking about not bulking anymore. I tried like a short-term, quite intense bulk and it was just not for me. Um, but what I've been doing for the last three odd months is I've been at maintenance, maybe 100 calories or 150 calories just over maintenance, really trying to focus on progressive overload in the gym, really trying to focus on protein, building muscle. My body from years of dieting, I lost a lot of muscle. Um, and so I don't have much muscle tone. And over years, I've also try, always try to be the leanest version of myself, which means that I've generally been in a calorie deficit for a lot of the time. And this is just not optimal for muscle growth. Unfortunately, it's like trying to save money and trying to spend money at the same time. Um, so I know that this is the best way to build muscle. It is often challenging, mostly mental, mental because you also want to stay as lean as possible. So I thought a really slow, steady strategy is the way to go for me. And guess what guys, I've gained like two and a half kilos over the last three months and I'm feeling so cool about it. I'm feeling so much stronger. I definitely have more muscle. And here's a little tip to know if you're gaining muscle or fat, if you are progressing in the gym and you're able to increase your weights, reps, sets over time, that means girl that you are gaining muscle. So I've been really diligent, tracking my workouts, tracking my weights, making sure I'm increasing. So I'm feeling really good. As I said, not my leanest. Hey, and she's okay with that, how? Who is this? I don't even know who she is anymore. Anyway, really gonna focus on that probably for the next two months. And maybe in December, I'll do a small mini cut to just see what we've been working on. Also, you guys know it was my birthday. I actually wanted to share two little things. One of which I got for myself and one which a friend got for me. So this is the Glow Whip. I really went off that topic really quickly. But anyway, if you have any more questions about what I've been doing, drop down below. Maybe, should I do a video on the exact things I've been doing in the last couple of months? And I can also do some nice little body shots to show you the progress that I've made. But anyway, on to birthday gifts, because it was my birthday this month. So I know you girls love the scoop on um, all things beauty. So I got this really divine, Let's see if it's going to focus. Huda Beauty Glow. It's called Glow Wish. Multi Dew Skin Tint. Wow. I'm realizing the older I get, <laughs> I feel like I'm ancient. I'm 32. Less makeup is better. Less powder is better. And I like that more shiny, glowy look. Wowzers. You can get this at Arc online or at Arc. This is one in Santon City. Guys, I'm literally obsessed with this. And then the other thing, which I got for myself, because it's also all of these damn overseas brands. Um, this is the Charlotte Tilbury. Let's see if it's gonna show ya. Love a beautiful, shiny blush. Let me actually put some on my hand and see if you guys can see this. Like the shimmer. 
is just let me actually put the other one on my hand as well just for you to see that this girl's all about the glow right now she's all about the glow I don't know if you can see how glowy that is focus on my hand there like this this blush if you use like a beauty blender I promise you for gym I just put on now this glowgasm makes my face like small bit of coverage I don't have much to cover and then I do some of this um, Charlotte Tilbury blush and let me tell you it's like the perfect gym glow on your face but you're wearing a little makeup a little bit of coverage so I love those for my birthday I've um, also got lots of other things but those were just two that were lying there that I was like let me show you guys what I did and then just in terms of this video I hope that you've been enjoying the convenient quick and easy meals I really wanted to show you girls that it is a total self-limiting belief that you have to spend a shit ton of time in the kitchen, that you either have to choose that you're gonna have KFC or spend five hours in the kitchen. It just ain't true. You can make quick and easy meals like Woolworths, Pick and Pay, they all have so many cooked things that taste delicious, that are still whole, delicious, unprocessed foods that you can throw together. Honestly, the kitchen coach is also a fab tool by the way, um, and I'm gonna show you my meal tonight, which is gonna be my dinner, is one of my convenience meal options in the kitchen coach. I've also got the best, I know it can be overwhelming as well, like which are healthy, which are not as nutritious. I've got in my kitchen coach, all those, op those options as well. And all the meals inside the kitchen coach are also so simple, guys, I promise you. I know it can be intimidating, but once you start making them, you're gonna be like, wow, I swear not any of those meals will take you I mean, besides the things that I have to bake, but it will not take you longer than 10 to 15 minutes. I swear. Like that was my goal and one of my criteria when I put those recipes in there. That was just a little check-in from me. There were other things I wanted to tell you, but I don't want this video to be too long. So um, yeah, drop down if you have any questions, let me know. I'm busy planning the content for the rest of my year. I'm trying to get ahead of everything um, and really plan in some awesome topics that I know you girls are gonna love. So let me know what you wanna see more of on the channel and what videos you would love to see here. Otherwise, I'm gonna go and hit a snack now. I'm gonna do a protein bar, which is another super convenient one, high protein, and maybe I'll do some fruit or something fresh on the side because that's also quick and easy and I like to have like a fresh element if I'm having something like a protein bar that maybe is a bit more processed. So let's go see what bars I got. Okay, let's see what protein bars we've got. Babe, have you been eating all the protein bars? Okay, so we actually have two separate containers in this box. One that's Galanz, babe, yours is looking very sad. Hey? What? You only have one protein bar left. Oh. <laughs> and it's not dark chocolate. No. That's only only one you got left. Shame. And this is mine. I actually stuffed up. I went to just came last night. So I have some grenades. Those are my favorite flavors, by the way. Chocolate chip salted caramel, caramel chaos. I also actually really like these future life ones. Mm, which one? Okay, caramel chaos. I haven't had this one in a while. I normally actually put them in the freezer and I like to eat them like that. Um, let's see what else we're gonna have. I do have some strawberries. Oh, it's all falling apart. I also have some nice fresh strawberries. Flavor burst of, can't get any others. And so that's going to be my RV snack. Girls, it's dinner time and we're making it super quick. So I'm doing the sesame noodle by Woolworths. Guys, it doesn't get quicker than this. And did you know that on the Lean Girl Kitchen Coach, your handy dandy tool, that I have an entire section, if I can see, for convenience meals. If you go to Woolworths, ready to heat, it's actually gonna tell you which are my favorite Lean Girl convenience meals. How cool is that? 
So now you have no excuses. So I'm gonna put this quickly in the microwave. Literally, this is how easy it is. I think two minutes. And then I'm gonna show you guys something exciting. Are you ready? So I'm not doing like a whole Lean Girl range of anything. These are just gonna be our Lean Girl community t-shirts. Just so that when you walk into Discam, we can spot one another and give each other some lean girl love. So these are going to be going on sale to the community in the next couple of weeks. So look out for that. We're here. And yeah, Galan's having a dish that I made tonight, which I made a recipe from earlier. A chicken based pizza, which I'll be posting the recipe up soon. I'm just going to plate this noodle dish. And then it's gonna be dinner time. Dinner's ready, I told you. Each meal is gonna be so quick. This actually looks delicious. This is the first time I'm having this one. And geez, that sauce smells so good. Babe, show them your dinner. I'm actually also jelly though. He's having That's a amazing. chicken based pizza. It smells so good. We just popped it into the air fryer. Okay, we're turning her out. Oh. Like a teriyaki, and that's a decent portion, I will tell you. Normally, some of the Woody's meals, I must say, are like a bit disappointing, but I think that looks fab. What is the sauce on my face? Mmm, that is tasty. Girls, there you have it a full day of eating, convenience meal style, so everything was super easy. Simple to make using mostly foods that we didn't cook anything. We we didn't cook a damn thing today. So I hope that, that gave you some ideas when you show up on time. Show the video some love if you enjoyed it. I will do more videos like this. So hit it with a like, hit it with a comment. I love to hear from you guys. I love to hear all about what you thought from the, from the video, what other stuff you want to see. So hit me up down below in the comments. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. Galan's gonna be very entertaining apparently. You're gonna tell me some jokes tonight, babe. I have three. Give us one. No, no, man. <laughs> he was lying. You see, put me on the spot. Busted. Busted. I didn't even have one. I didn't even have one. You should have used the other one that I teach you, taught you. Which one was that? Your mom was so fat that when she jumped for joy, she got stuck. <laughs> I don't know why that's in a Chinese accent. <laughs> anyway. Let me go and enjoy my dinner. Um, I'll put the calories and macros up of everything. We'll still have dessert after this, but I'm just doing my little wrap up here. I will see you back here next week on the Mingle YouTube channel. Enjoy.